I've got a very quick, simple, easy cookie recipe for you today. Thumbprint cookies, so they're gluten-free, grain-free, sugar-free. You could replace the butter with some coconut oil if you wanted to. Let's get into it. Butter, first of all, into our stand mixer. So we're gonna beat this together with some honey and some vanilla until it's light and fluffy. Beautiful raw honey there. You can sort of still see the imperfections in there. It hasn't been heated, organic and local. All of the good stuff. And then we've got some vanilla. So we're going to be putting a thumbprint in these cookies to shape them to create a little well to hold some jam. And we made our own chia jam. The recipe is on the website. So we'll beat this at about a medium speed. So I'm gonna reduce that to a low speed just while I add my dry ingredients, which is some almond meal and coconut meal, or coconut flour and almond flour, depending on the brand that you buy it. Now I could shake it all in, but it tends to spit out if you do it all at once. So I'm just gonna give it a little bit of a, a push. And once this is all combined, we can roll it into little balls, put it on our tray, press it out and pop it in the oven. I told you it was simple. Some coconut flour as well. So the coconut flour is much higher in uh, fat content and oil content, hence the, our ability to get coconut oil. So it acts as a little bit of a chewy consistency to this cookie. So I'm not making it all almond meal, not making it all coconut flour. It's sort of neutralizing the flavor a little bit. I'm gonna increase that and then we can roll it into balls. So quenelling it is not really a necessary kind of step. It just gives me a fairly accurate by sight measurement to make sure that all of our little cookies are gonna be about the same size. I'm gonna give them a bit of an egg wash so that we get a nice caramelization on top. We don't want too much pooling in the center there. Just a light brushing of the surface. This will encourage a glossy caramelization. And then into the oven for 15 to 20 minutes. Now these are a little bit smaller than I would usually make, so they may even be 12 to 15 minutes. I'll get you to keep an eye on them. And then we can take them out, let them cool and fill them with jam. So we've removed them from the oven. I've let them cool significantly. So because these crisp up or harden up on cooling, it's really important to be very gentle with them until they've thoroughly cooled. So now we can, a traditional jam drop or thumbprint cookie, you could actually cook with the jam in it. Because we've made this jam ourselves, I'd prefer to fill them now. And then they are perfect tea or coffee accompaniment or an afternoon snack. And because they are gluten-free, grain-free, sugar-free, all of the good stuff. You can certainly have more than one if you wish. It is as simple as that. Beautiful little thumbprint cookies with our homemade strawberry jam. This is one that you can definitely try at home. There you have it, as promised, simple, quick, easy little thumbprint cookies.